Welcome everyone, the first reason why your lightning to SD card reader is not working is because with the iOS version 16 update, Apple removed support for this device. And I'm not joking, I'll show this right now. So we're gonna connect the adapter to the iPhone 14 Pro Max running the software 16. And once you connect the adapter, the main way is you'd go to the files app and it would show your SD card name and you'd be able to tap on it and proceed. But nothing is showing up. There's nothing you can do. However, this is an older uh, software 15 iPhone. We're gonna connect it to the adapter, okay? And if we go to the files app, we'll go to browse, you can see Immediately, no waiting, the SD card is showing up and we can view the contents of the SD card and we can play it, no problem. So, if you have an SD card which you now can't connect to your iPhone, what you will need to do is you have two solutions. The first solution, most probably won't use this, is you need an older iPhone on the older software. This is an iPhone 6S and it's final software, you know, support an SD card. The second solution is we're gonna do this. So the first step is if you have a computer, you will need to transfer all of the files from your SD card to the computer. And once you've done this, we're going to connect an external flash drive to our iPhone instead of the SD card. Because even on the latest software, you will need to buy another adapter, the Lightning to USB-A adapter. But once you have this adapter, I don't think Apple sell them. We can get this for about $10 on Amazon. And just make sure it's in the MFI program because then it's certified by Apple. You would then transfer the files from the SD card to the flash drive using your computer. And once the files are on your flash drive, we connect it to the USB-A port. And then we connect the lightning part to the iPhone. And thankfully on the software 16, immediately the flash drive is showing up and we can read the files, no problem. If you are having problems where you see read only with either your SD card on the older software or USB on the newer software, you will need to format the SD card which will erase all the files. So move the files to the computer and just erase with macOS extended journal. If you have a, a Mac computer or you want to use XFAT, if you have a Windows and with XFAT, you can then, well, or macOS extended journal, you will then not have a read only message here. And this is unfortunate, but this is your only solution. Uh, with that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.